What up, everyone? So, I've got the last box of the month. And by the month, I mean last month. February. Because these boxes took forever to get here, because they ship from so far away. But we've got Horror Block here. And I'm pretty sure this is the last time I'm ever going to see this box. Um, it, it's been fun. It's been here for a little while. Um, but the Nerd Block Company, I haven't been too happy with them lately. And I've been hearing a lot of people haven't been either, with their customer service and a lot of the things the company does. So... And they, they really don't have any customer loyalty, and it's just it's too expensive to keep them all around. Their referral program is garbage, and their affiliate program sucks too. So it's just, I don't know, it just, I, I think it's un, not really justified to, I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going with that. But anyway, it's just getting too expensive. This is the last month we're going to see this box. But anyway, let's take a look at this month and see what we got. Now, as you can see, I have my horror-themed glasses, which is so funny. I saw these in the store, and I'm like, who would ever buy these besides me to unbox Horror Block? Other than that, who would ever get these glasses? But they're fitting for this occasion, so that's what I'm doing. What is? Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Shirt, obviously. Shirt punch shirt. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what we got. So, I could be wrong on this, but by the looks of it, I'm thinking that's Walking Dead reference, because uh, the wings on the back look like Daryl's wings that he has on his vest that he wears, and then the arrow, obviously, another reference to Daryl, so I'm guessing that's a Walking Dead reference. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But that's a cool design. I like when things are referenced when they're not, like, directly said, like, it could have said The Walking Dead on here, but I think that would have kind of ruined it. But I like when they reference things, and it, uh, it just still looks like a cool shirt. If, even if you didn't recognize it was Walking Dead, it still looks like a decent shirt. So, I like that design. Um, and Gildan soft style, as per usual. Somewhat fitted, pretty nice in quality. Not the best, but not the worst either, so that'll do. And, yeah, I think that's a cool shirt. And I think most people could wear it, even if you weren't a fan of The Walking Dead, because it just looks cool. So, yeah, I'll, I'll give that like an 8 out of 10. I think most people would like that and enjoy it. Good job. Alrighty. Next. Mm -hmm. So, this. What do we got here? Zombie Egg Apocalypse Egg Cup Spoon Toast Cutter. So, this looks like a little breakfast set to hold a hard-boiled egg. And then it has a little toast cutter and a spoon. All right. Um, so not super practical. Can I open this without damaging it? Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't think I've ever used one of these little cups to hold an egg or um, seen anyone use one. But I definitely know what it's for. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's, now that we can get a better look at it. So it looks like a little zombie guy. And the egg is obviously going to be the brains. And I'm guessing this little um, shovel here... I'm guessing that's the uh, toast cutter, or no, I guess it'd be the spoon. And then this little thing is the toast cutter, I'm assuming. And it seems kind of hard to cut toast like that, but, you know, whatever. All right, so there's that. That's what that is. And all right, I guess that's useful. That's kind of cool. It's kind of funny. You know, whatever. Mm, I'll take it. Next. All right. This says, oh, zombie bottle opener. Cool. This has a really cool package, too. You can take a look at the front of it. My camera will focus. There we go. All right, let's open it up and take a look at it. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice, and this is actually metal. Or no, yeah, kind of. No, it's not metal, it's like a ceramic, I guess. More of a ceramic texture. Kind of feels like metal, it's heavy, it's got some weight to it. And yeah, it just kind of sits up like that, and then you put the bottle in his mouth and open it up. I'm always happy to see bottle openers, but you guys know me, I'm constantly drinking, so. I have much more use for them than normal. I like that this is uh, freestanding because the problem with bottle openers is that um, I like ones that are magnets. You can just stick them on the fridge. That's easy. And this one can actually be used as a display piece. So even if you don't use it to open bottles, you can put it on a shelf and it'll just look cool on its own. So that's the good thing about that. I like that it's freestanding. Next. Look. Damn it. Looks like we got a deck of playing cards. This says the chopping block. And it is an exclusive deck of cards. Focus. Come on. There we go. Close enough. So you guys get the point. Uh, let me open these up and see what they are exactly. Let's take a look at the design on these. If I can find the pull tab. 
Where is it? Open, bitch. Here we go. Da 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 da. La da da. Doop do do. Doop do do. So, let's take a look at these, get the camera to focus. Uh, so yeah, it kind of looks like a bunch of different horror themed things. So yeah, we got Jason, we got uh, Pennywise, we got looks like the twins from um, The Shining, uh, Freddy. So yeah, so uh, just like normal decks of cards, the um, face cards are the ones with pictures on there, and they just have all different characters from the horror genre. That's really cool. I like that. Um, I use decks of cards pretty oftenly. I still am immature and play drinking games with my friends all the time, so we always use decks of cards, and it's always cool to play with interesting ones. And I always like the artwork. Uh, card artwork is always, is always very interesting to me. And yeah, this one looks pretty cool. Very useful, very practical, an exclusive deck, and it looks like it covers pretty much all the horror genre. So that's very nice. Um, obviously, if you need a deck of cards, that's perfect for you, but if not, you can still appreciate the artwork that's on there. So that's cool, and obviously an exclusive item. Then it looks like our last item, which is one we've seen quite often, we got Rue Morgue Magazine. So this is obviously just a horror magazine, and is there something in here? No, just the magazine. So I haven't been seeing artwork from the um, Nerd Block Company too much recently. We usually always get one in Horror Block and Arcade Block, but we haven't been seeing them too much. I wonder why that is. I'm not totally sure, but either way, Rue Magazine is cool, entertaining, and obviously you like horror if you're getting this box, so that's something that would be appreciated. So, that was all the items in the box. So I'll take a little break, and I'll do some research, and then we'll come back, talk about some value, and give this box a rating. See you soon. Alright, we are back. So let's talk about some value and give this box a rating. First, the shirt. I was right, Walking Dead reference, good call, me. Um, but anyway... 8 out of 10 on the shirt, I think a lot of people would like it, I think most people would wear it. Like I said, even if you don't like The Walking Dead, it still has a cool shirt design, and it's not too obviously about that, but cool shirt, I really liked it. Um, but it'll get the standard $12 to $15 value, as all shirts do. Next, the deck of cards. This is going to go right around 10 bucks, 10 to 12 which is pretty common for um, decorated decks of cards. You can find them cheaper depending on what the content is, who designed them, where they are, blah de, blah de, blah But usually they're going to be around $10 if they have some kind of specialty artwork. A normal bicycle deck is probably at least like 5 or 6 bucks. so with the artwork on there, it, typically around 10 as a blanket statement. This is exclusive, so that brings it up a little bit, like 10 to 12 but not much. But still, a cool deck of cards, practical, useful, cool looking. Sure, why not? Then, the bottle opener. So this is pretty decent in quality. It's not perfect by any means. It's not quite metal. It's more the ceramic, but it's still cool. It still stands on its own. This is going to go for about 8 to 10. Um, bottle openers are just very common. Even though it's exclusive, it has a cool design, but you know, it's not that amazing. And I'm a little worried about it breaking a little bit because it isn't metal. The part that opens the bottle is metal, but the rest of it isn't. So I'm a little nervous that this is going to break off or chip away. So that's just a little bit about the quality. But it still goes for about 8 to 10, which, you know, I think it's fair. I think that's the justified amount. Then, our little egg opener set with the spoon and the little design to cut out your toast which I'm not totally sure how that would work to cut out toast. I don't see that working very well because I, I was showing before, it's just like the outline of these weapons right there. So I'm not sure how well that's going to work to cut out toast. I guess it depends on what kind of bread you have, but I don't see that working super well. And also to eat like an egg or a hard boiled egg, depending on what you're putting in there. Like I said, I don't think I've ever actually seen someone eat an egg that way. I've just never seen it. But it's still cool nonetheless, just as a, a funny gift or something like that. So that works out. Then, we got our Rue magazine. Now, this is uh, has a $10 price tag on there. It says right on the front. So that's the value I'll give it. As far as books and magazines go, I always give it the face value. Just know that obviously you could find this much cheaper. Because I someone could read this magazine, be done with it, and sell it online for like a dollar. It wouldn't matter because it's still technically in new condition as long as you don't damage it. Who cares? And I doubt anyone's collecting these, so that's the thing about books and magazines. I always give it the printed value, but no, you can obviously find it online for pennies on the dollar. Then, we have one last item, which I didn't get. They did not give it to me, so I'll have to show you the picture on here. 
because I didn't get it. And as soon as the camera focuses, yeah, so it's that little finger right there. And it's basically a cork stopper. And we've seen a lot of those recently from the NerdBlock company. And I really like them. I use them a lot because I, you guys see, I drink champagne on the channel all the time. I love champagne and wine and all that stuff. So they're always very useful for me. But that's the one item I didn't get. Like, what the balls, man. They've always been good about giving me the items. It's the first time it hasn't happened. But small things like this where it's just like, they, they've been having issues with customer service lately. And I think maybe the company is just getting too big. Because they're doing so many different types of, types of boxes each month. And they have lots of customers. So I think they're not quite keeping up with the growth of the company. And I've been seeing that a lot with their customer service and things like that. Which is a real shame. But I'll contact them. I'm sure they'll be cool about it. And I'm sure they'll send me a new one. Because technically I have proof uh, from this video. You guys saw me open the box and it wasn't in there. So I should get it no problem. But I still think that's cool. Anyway enough rambling, the value on that is about 8 to 10. And um, they've, they've been sending out a lot lately. We got one in um, Arcade Block and one in the Classic Nerd Block. We have the Mario one, the Legend of Zelda one, and then this one. I don't know how many you really need at one time, but if, if you drink wine, you probably have more than one bottle at a time. Anyway, um, I don't know if everyone can use them, but I like them. I like to use them, and that's definitely geared more towards adults, which I think is fine, especially for something like Horror Block. So, uh, I think some people would appreciate it, but then again, it's not for everyone. So, that was all the items in the box. That being said, uh, the, the value on the low end was 60, on the high end, 71. So again, higher than we usually see. Almost always, for the past year, every single block they've done, um, if you paid $30, you got about $50 back. Always. It was almost ex on, on the T every time. And arcade block and this block were a little bit higher. This one's 60 to 70, which is nice. So you definitely got double the value. So I'm glad to see that they're they're growing as a company. They're doing better. They're giving better value. They're giving more exclusive items, which is cool, and I appreciate that. So small tweaks like that, it's just good to see that the company is still growing and not leveling off like a lot of these other box companies. So that's good to see. Overall, I thought this was a very nice box. I do have to say that just like Arcade Block, same situation. We got a lot of exclusive items, but they're not all very practical. I don't think most people are going to use that little egg toast set. And I don't think, I think a lot of people will use the cork stopper, but again, not everyone, more so than the egg thing. Bottle opener is fine, cards are fine, but yeah, not the most practical. And But it's good to see exclusive items, and you got really good value. Um, sadly, this is the last horror block I'll ever see, but this was a good last one to go with. And, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. Overall, I think I'm going to give this a 7.75. Again, that value may change a little bit, depending on what you guys think. And, obviously, if I get my damn stopper, if this company gives me what's rightfully mine. So, if that goes smoothly, then I'm sure that that uh, might even go up a little bit. But, other than that, um, had I got it, had the value been that, I think 7.75 is fair. But, as always, let me know what you guys thought. And I will see you guys in the monthly review. The monthly review always takes me a long time to record and edit because it's so long. So you're not going to see videos for a couple of days, just a heads up, because it takes so long to process all that information. And I'm going to be doing some new things on the channel too, trying it out. But I'll explain that in a weekly roundup. Anyway, this has been Horror Block. Shirt 8 out of 10. Box 7.75 out of 10. Let me know what you guys thought. Love you all. Peace.